Hello everybody, it's Micah here, and we are back with another ClickBot slash StickBot, but in this case, ClickBot review. This time we are reviewing the ClickBot Guardians. They come in this little cardboard package here. Here's the sides, back. Got some little branches on the side here. Toy Insider Award, all that. We've also got a QR code here on the side. Let's go ahead and open this up now. Right away, I can see we got another stick dollar for the Zinc store. Very cool. We've also got a little instruction, little piece of paper here for the click separator, as well as all the characters. It seems they got a lot of tutorials on these QR codes. That's interesting. And another one there. A little bit of tissue. And our click bots. Kind of in pieces right now. And I'm guessing in these little yellow uh, I guess packages, there's some tape on here. We've got their parts. And there's the quick separator. Right there. Snip, 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 snip. Ah, just kidding, I got you. So in each of these boxes, we've got a ton of pieces. Each for an individual uh, click bot, it seems. So I think this one goes to the blue one. This one's for the red one. This one's for... Uh, I don't know which one this one's for. And the final one, which guaranteed goes to orange because it's got these pins on here. So unfortunately, this uh, pack of click bots has one of the same problems that a lot of the other click bot products have had so far. And that is unfortunately... The lack of instructions, and yeah, there's no instructions included in this set, except for, I guess, this little paper here, which, if you scan these, they don't even take you to any instructions. I mean, this is a whole video, but, like, there's no instructions for the actual ClickBot Guardians in this set, so... Looks like we're doing another stop-motion uh, tutorial little segment. This video is already four months late, and it's gonna be even later because of this. Here we go! Hello. Wow. And here they are, the ClickBot Guardians! And man, do these figures look incredible! They have a nice color scheme going on with the black side, or like the dark gray sort of colors. And they re look really cool together, and even just alone, they look incredible. And as you saw in that animated segment, these ClickBots animate phenomenally well. I think I've finally uh, mastered, or not really mastered, but kind of gotten better at animating ClickBots. I just have to work on Walk cycles, obviously, I'm not good at that. But these guys can be animated really well. And uh, speaking of which, uh, the tutorial animated segment will probably be uploaded in its own separate video, just in case someone is looking for a video on how to build these. But enough of that for now. Let's take a closer look at these click bots. Also, during that tutorial, I accidentally swapped the green salmon with reds. Uh, no one will notice in the tutorial video, will they?
Unless they watch this video, of course. First off, we have our green click bot called Blitz, which has two guns, pretty large, medium-sized guns, as well as this backpack piece. Not really a backpack, it's just a back piece. I believe it's supposed to be a jetpack. And also this unique helmet. Here's a less action-y pose on the turntable here. Looking nice. And let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, jetpack here. It can be adjusted and posed, so the flaps move here, like so, and you go up and down. And then there is obviously these joints in there, which can pose upwards. They're a little tight. Next, we have the orange clickbot, Temptus. This is a four-armed clickbot here, or at least it's kind of like a Doc Ock sort of mechanism going on in the back where it hooks up to the back and you get these two other arms that are holding these little shield pieces here and then the other two arms the main arms uh there are two spears here as well as the helmet in terms of posability for the other arms they work exactly the same as the main arms you just kind of bend them how you want them to be they do not like twist like this arm can twist this way but this area cannot twist because it doesn't have like a little swivel circular thing there. But other than that, they can be posed in a good amount of uh, flexible. You can, I guess, twist this area to make it move more, but it's not the same as like the arm. And the shields also do uh, pose a little bit. Not much though, it's kind of just like the same amount as the uh, series one blue quick bot. But yeah, you do get two shields here on this guy. And then we have probably the most unique clickbot in this whole series. This is the red clickbot. Uh, what's the name? Server? Okay, that's a weird name. Server! So as you can see, Server has these two little swords and the helmet. But obviously the most interesting uh, thing about this clickbot is the fact that this clickbot ain't got no legs. It got three robotic sort of spear legs. I don't know what you call these, but it's got different legs. These are completely posable. You can adjust the little spiked area and you can move just all of them and there's three of them. So you can just go nuts with this. This has a uh, new type of piece right here, which has like three different areas for the legs to attach to. And this doesn't have the most, like the piece itself doesn't have much Movement options, you can go like this. So you can kind of do that. You can go up and down. It uh, unfortunately cannot twist. So you can't go side to side with the body. Other click bots in their torso, they could do that. But this one can't. But the trade off is that you get these cool robotic arms and these can be posed in all kinds of ways as you saw in the animation earlier. Yeah, these things can definitely do some cool stuff. Oop, the helmet popped off there. Finally, we have the blue clickbot, Barrage. Barrage has these dual big guns here that both say clickbot on them. Someone's uh, got their guns branded. And also this jetpack here, which is different from the green clickbot's jetpack in which this is only one piece. It can be posed up and down. Can't really move it much. It's got a little bit of limited posability, but it does have a little bit of posability. Can't really do much with it, but it's there. And also this really uh, interesting helmet. It's just sort of like a blindfold uh, to him, I guess. But like, I'm imagining he'd be able to see through that. Like, I don't know. There's, if you look closely, there are these little like dots here. So maybe this is some kind of advanced sniper like goggles or something i don't know the uh the paper uh image of barrage looks the helmet looks a lot cooler i think it does there than it does in real life but it's a unique helmet i'm sure you could find many uses for it one more interesting thing about this click bot that i'd like to pay attention to is the back piece obviously it has this jetpack here but did you notice it also has these two little x's on the sides here and those are used to store the weapons so you can take the big clickbot gun 
and just slide it through the X. And now you can store the weapons of this ClickBot. And this is really unique because no other ClickBot before has had this uh, little feature before. It kind of reminds me of, you know, like uh, Ninjago, sort of, the little piece that they put on their necks and then you can slide like two swords behind them on their backs. Kind of reminds me of that and it's really unique. I think they, sh they should do this with other ClickBots because obviously these ClickBots have tons of weapons to choose from and stuff, but there's nowhere to store them. This is the only ClickBot that does that so far, which is really cool. I think they should uh, add on to, they should keep, make or just make a separate piece of its own that's just built for carrying weapons alone. I think that'd be really neat. So yeah, that is the back piece for the blue ClickBot. There are a few more things that we need to go over here. For one, all of these ClickBots come with a pair of suction cup hands. And if you don't know how these work, let's just take blue ClickBot here, stretch his arm out, accidentally pop his helmet, helmet off, helmet. And we're gonna take our little click separator here. Just gonna do something very satisfying. There we go. We're gonna take one of our suction cup hands and we are just going to attach it like so. And now he's got a suction cup hand. Let's go ahead and do the other real quick. Like so. And now he's got two suction cup hands. And we can use these to stick to walls. Oh yeah. In case you didn't know, ClickBots also have suction cups on their feet, so you could stick those to the walls and the floors. Now here's a neat thing you can do with your red ClickBot. As you can see, I've used the click separator to separate all of the little arm pieces, or leg pieces I mean. And what I'm going to do is put suction cups on there instead of spikes. And it should be pretty straightforward from there. We have three unique legs that now have suction cups on them. And yeah, these spikes don't have suction cups on them. I mean, they're able to stand on their own. But in case you need that extra support for, say, doing something like this. Oh, okay, he's a little too heavy. But... Maybe if we put two legs down, like this, there we go. You get a little bit more range. Okay, it's kind of too heavy for suction cups, but you can put suction cups on the feet if you need that extra stability. At least when he's on the ground, he can't really stay up on his own. He'll just bend over like that. But that is an option you can do. And of course, you can cling onto walls. Just like this. Okay, I saw an opportunity and I took it. Behold, the Flipper Bird Triantula! I think I actually almost prefer uh, this sword instead of this sword. This sword is fine. I love like the futuristic sort of tech sort of looky of a sword. But the only problem I have with this sword is I feel like it's like at a medium sized. It's not too, it's medium doesn't fit this size. I think, I think it should be a little longer or either a little shorter because then that way it could be like a knife and then a longer sword. But realistically, this is a pretty tiny sword, at least compared to other clickbot weapons, I think. And on the subject of weapons, I gotta say this wave has some of the nicest weapons yet. I wouldn't say like they're the most unique uh, wave of weapons. I mean, series two. Had a lot of cool stuff such as hammers and like uh, drills. I mean, we got spears here, this is new, but uh, they're pretty standard weapons, but they're pretty good, I'd say. The shields are obviously pretty tiny, uh, but I do like the sword, the little designs, the spears, and of course, these big weapons here. And one thing I really appreciate about these new weapons is the fact that all of them, excluding the shields, do not require the old little, like, this clip right here, this hexagon, to equip the weapons to ClickBots. Allow me to explain. For previous ClickBots, if you wanted to equip a weapon from Series 1 or 2, excluding these two weapons, then what you would have to do is first remove the ClickBots hand using the Click Separator. 
Then once that arm is done, you gotta get this other arm piece, pick your weapon, click that in there, and then equip to the ClickBot again. And now your ClickBot has a weapon. And so ClickBot Series 3 weapon said, nah, you don't need to do that no more. If you wanna put your weapon on your ClickBot, just use the hands, like so. It's so much easier, and now this is gonna be a lot easier for making your animations. Whereas before, if you wanted to have a ClickBot say, pick up a new weapon, you would have to animate them, but you'd have to take off the arm during that animation, and that might cause your animation to look a little rougher. But now, if you want them to be equipped, just put them in their hands. It's so much easier and nicer. And I gotta say, all these weapons, except for the shields, have this feature, so if you just want to easily swap in and out new weapons, that's going to be so much easier now. So I hope for Series 4, if they do Series 4 for ClickBot, they use more of these sticks and just like slide them into the arms. It's so much easier, so much better than the old weapons here that required a little piece to be put on the hands. What's funny is that despite not using the system that the other ClickBots did with needing a whole other arm piece to use weapons, they still give you four of those pieces, one for each ClickBot. It used to be two, but it's just one. But since none of these weapons have any, I guess it's not that important, but it's good that they actually included them here because now you can equip all your new ClickBot Guardians with the old weapons from Series 1 and 2. And yeah, the problem of only having uh, one per click bot is kind of annoying. I couldn't fit all the weapons from series one and two on both hands. But if you do need extras, Red always has some right here. You could always recycle his legs for some extra uh, arm pieces for weapons. Wait, what? And since the ClickBot Guardian's weapons do not require the uh, octagon type of weapon piece, they just have the little sticks where you slide them into the hands. Uh, you can now use the ClickBot Guardian's weapons on your stickbots. As long as you have the little clip pieces that you put on the stickbot suction cups, then you can wield the ClickBot Guardian's weapons on your stickbots. Now, the only one I wouldn't recommend doing is, uh, I think, Barrage. Yeah, Barrage's weapon, because unless you position it correctly, this is generally a very heavy weapon that stickbot is not capable of handling. Although this might just be a very older stick bot, so... Uh, the other three weapons though, the spear, these blasters, and the swords, they do work perfectly fine on stick bot, and I think they actually work better uh, than servers. Servers weapons look better on stick bot because the size proportions just kind of match better on stick bot as a sword. So yeah, if you want to use the click bot weapons and helmets on stick bots, you can do that. And now it is time to move on to my final thoughts on the ClickBot Guardians. Overall, I think this is another great wave to the ClickBot series. Series 1 was good, Series 2 improved and added armor and all sorts of stuff, and new colors. And Series 3, while not adding new colors, we did get a lot of cool new stuff. New weapons, new gear, and new helmets as well. I really like ClickBot Series 3. The addition of ClickBot weapons that can fit in ClickBot hands is a positive change in my opinion for the series and I hope we get more stuff, wackier weapons and all kinds of things that can fit in the ClickBot hands in the future for future waves or series. I also like the addition on the blue ClickBot barrage where you can store the weapons on their back. I really like that feature and I hope that more ClickBot uh, back, just any equipment, more gear in the future armor and stuff that you can put on their bodies and little backpacks and stuff would be neat so that we can carry around all their weapons. I really like that feature on Barrage and hopefully they do that for more ClickBots in the future. But besides that, uh, I really do not have any criticisms for these ClickBots. They're very good. All of them feel like they're equally as valuable as the next. I, I, I don't think I could even rank them if I could. They're all really solid ClickBots in their own right with all the gear and all the unique things that they include. Obviously, uh, you can only buy them, I think, so far in a bundle, but uh, maybe in the future they'll come in singles, I have no idea. So overall, these are very good ClickBots. I love them, they're great, and they get the KFC seal of approval, and I would definitely recommend them to anyone who is a fan of ClickBots and StickBots. 
And now I am really looking forward to see what Zing has in store for ClickBot Series 4. Hopefully it'll be a combination of all the four, I mean three, series so far where we get weapons, helmet, armor, gear, backpacks, new body types, all sorts of fun stuff. I'm definitely looking forward to the next wave of ClickBots. So that was the ClickBot Guardian review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to leave a like and also comment down below. Which of these four Guardians is your favorite? Did you like Barrage or do you like Server? Let me know in the comments down below. And remember to subscribe for more ClickBot and StickBot reviews in the future, as well as other animations and stuff. And yeah, that's it. See you next time.